Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Lynn Hobson, also known as Money Lynn, and you are watching We Talking TV. Hello, I'm Irobia Allen, also known as Jim in the Industry, and I have the pleasure of sitting down with Lynn Hobson for We Talking Magazine. Lynn, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for taking the time out. So we're going to touch a lot of points here in this interview, but okay. we have to start out basically with letting the people know who is Lynn Hobson. Well, Lynn Hobson, also known as Money Lynn, I am a publicist, an author, a professor, and a content creator. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> How do you wear so many hats? Timing. You know, I'm only probably doing two of those things at one time. Okay. Yes. All right. And how long have you been a publicist? I've been a publicist for a little over 20 years. Wow. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. You've covered a large scale. Yes. <laughs> What is a publicist exactly? What is the job of a publicist? Well, the job of a publicist is to do uh, one of three things, event planning, mm -hmm. uh, image consulting, and uh, media placements, making sure the client is promoted in newspapers, magazines, blogs, and now TV. Okay. Well, TV and now blogs, you know. Do you think that one outweighs the other? <sighs> no. No. They all have to. They all certain certain media outlets carry more weight than the others. Yeah. You think right? What do you think is at the top right now? Um, if I was an artist and I only wanted to push one lane, which is not smart, of course. Mm -hmm. But if I only had the energy to push one lane, what would it be? Probably blogs. Okay. Because blogs last forever. Well, everything lasts forever nowadays. But you get more of a reach with blogs, whereas with television, it may be just national, local. You know. Do you think that blogs are good because they've never been publication? They've always been pretty much well, some, media. Some people. magazines, like Source Magazine, Vibe, Billboard, um, they also have a blog component to their um, platform. So um, getting a client placed in a magazine in a, in, on an online digital platform rather than a magazine, I would ra actually rather that. In this day and age or yes, always? in this day and age. Not always, but okay. in this day and age. Prior <laughs> to that, definitely magazines were better. Now, it's easier nowadays to be a publicist, I would say. <laughs> um, you know, um, to be a publicist, it doesn't require any type of formal education. So anybody can kind of say that they are a publicist. Mm -hmm. You know, but you can pretty much tell who is and who really is not a publicist. You know. Ten years now... Let's say the past 20 years since you've been a publicist over the first 10 years, mm -hmm. how much footwork did you have to cover as opposed to mm -hmm. your last 10 years? The first 10 years I covered probably the entire world because, you know, I was younger, you know, more vibrant, running around, stuff like that. And this set of 10 years, it's not really at required of you to run around because of, you know, social media platforms and this digital age. It's not necessary to travel anymore. You mentioned in your titles that you're also a professor. Are you, uh, is your um, degree in media? My degree is actually in a Bachelor of Arts in Science. Okay. Yes, and um, I'm an adjunct professor and I was an adjunct professor at Delaware State University where I taught public relations and PR writing for two years. So it ties in? Yes, it ties in. So that makes you a great publicist. Yes. Is that why you're Amazing money publicist. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Are you still a publicist currently? I took off the publicist hat, but I just had to put it back on like about a month ago. So I have three clients okay. right now. I'm nice. going to go up to 10. Okay. Yeah. Again. Yes, again. Now, I don't know. It's a love-hate thing. You I know. got you. I don't know if the people will know, but you've written a book. Yes, I wrote a book called Diary of a Hip Hop Publicist, and I wrote it to commemorate my 20 years in the business. And each chapter is named after a former client of mine, mm -hmm. and um, they're inspirational stories. Yeah, nice drama-filled with me yeah. and inspirational <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> when yes. did you release the book? I released that book in 2016. Okay. Yes, and I'm going to re-release it this this holiday season. Nice. Yeah, with a new cover and some fresh chapters. Okay, yeah, yes. I, I remember coming across the cover, it was a white background. Yes. So what's the projector style for the new cover? You have one? 
I'm actually shooting that cover today. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> just a different, different, same the cover, scene. same cover, same <laughs> font, different, fa different, you know, look. Different. Look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. I don't think that I would ever want to be a publicist. Um, and my dream job was to be an assistant at one time when I was yeah. young and vibrant. Right. I wanted to run. I, I liked the person that was in black that was behind the artist or the, the celebrity. Yeah. And I was like, who is that person with the kids? That person has probably got all the know-how <laughs> and what's going on. So right. I always wanted to be an assistant. Mm -hmm. Being a publicist, do you think that you have that you have to have like a a direct contact with the artist, or is there a middle person in being well, a publicist? Well, yeah. Well, normally I meet my clients through their manager, mm -hmm. the record label, um, a makeup artist, mm -hmm. you know. A, a hair designer, you know what I mean. So, but never, really, hardly ever, one on one. I do have, cl I do have potential clients who are celebrities. They do DM me, mm -hmm. you know, um, and then I communicate with them. And then, you know, if they like the flow of the conversation, they'll pass me on to their management, or they'll hire me themselves. Gotcha. Yeah. If you had one piece of advice for somebody that would like to be a publicist or go into that realm of a, as a career, what advice would you give them? I would give the advice that they should read, do a lot of reading, keep up with current events, and to constantly network. 